This is George from High Tech Legion. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new VaporX CPU cooler from Sapphire. Uh, this is Sapphire's first uh, go around in the CPU cooling market, but certainly not their first go around in cooling. Sapphire, being one of the leading manufacturers of GPUs, has been uh, doing GPU cooling for quite some time, and their VaporX system has become one of the most acclaimed uh, GPU cooling systems out there. They've been, like I say, doing it for quite some time, quite a few years. So, taking a look, the uh, VaporX CPU cooler is going to be a hybrid vapor chamber and heat pipe design CPU cooler. It actually has a direct contact vapor chamber along with heat pipes in order to cool. So let's go around, take a look. As you can see, tall tower, stands 163.5 millimeters tall, only 110.5 millimeters wide. So you, it's actually not too big, not going to block uh, too much in the way of RAM slots. Obviously, um, taller RAM will fit in some applications, uh, depending on your motherboard. Starting off, 220 millimeter fans in a push-pull configuration. Uh, the fans themselves, very interesting aerofoil design, as you can see on the blades themselves. 495 to 2200 RPM. That's a very, very wide RPM range, so you can go from whisper quiet to producing quite a bit of air, topping out at 77 CFM. Also, it can do it at only 40 dB, which is going to be very, very quiet. So you're going to get a really nice combination uh, of being able to have silent cooling, also being able to push through a lot of air if uh, required. And it is held on with a bracket and both the fans will pop right off. As you can see, really nice looking top design as you can see when it's put together with the Sapphire logo right in the middle. And taking the fans off, the two fans are pre-wired with the Y connector, so only one PWM slot is needed. And both of the fans themselves get plugged right into the top as well. And we can take them out of the way. Look at the tower itself. Of course, big attraction here is going to be the vapor chamber. Down the bottom, we'll remove the tag. And we've got a nice smooth mill on the vapor chamber itself. The vapor chamber is direct contact, as you can see, and is going to sit directly on the CPU. That's going to give you a great um, dissipation of heat from the CPU to the heat pipes. You've got the contact block and the four 7 millimeter heat pipes in a very conventional design uh, for a CPU cooler. The big difference being that vapor chamber, rather than uh, simply a contact plate, is going to much, much more effectively transfer the heat from the CPU to the heat pipes up through the tower, through the fins, with the air blowing through. Uh, also, you can see there's a little nub right on the vapor chamber. That is the fill tube uh, for the vapor chamber, which, after it's filled, is soldered off, but cannot be removed during the manufacturing process. Uh, two screw downs on either side for the mounting. Once again, up top, you've got the nice plastic top with the sapphire name emblazoned right in the top. Not a really thick heat sink, as we said. That's going to be important in being able to fit other components into the system. The included mounting kit and accessories start off. Product registration card. A very nicely illustrated manual. Many, many languages. As you can see, English running through. And well illustrated. Not overly large, but definitely gives you an overview of everything. Um, also, separate installation instructions for LGA 775-1155-56-1366 and uh, LGA 2011, as well as separate installation instructions for AMD applications. Important to note, uh, included in the instructions and also included in the mounting kit, not listed on the box or, box or on the uh, specifications on the website, uh, is a kit for LGA 2011 as well as FM2. So taking a look, back plate, one size, obviously reversible. Retention ring, four mounting bolts, as well as the accompanying nuts, and also four mounting bolts specifically for LGA 2011. 
small tube of thermal interface material, and a nut driver to tighten up the nuts for the mounting kit. Inside of the case, the blue LEDs from the VaporX on both the fans as well as the shroud provide a really nice glow. You've got the uh, blue pattern, as you can see, light up with the VaporX logo also lit up. Really nice looking piece. The VaporX from Sapphire obviously is a groundbreaking piece. Um, taking a look, obviously very good looking unit, all black up top, dual fans, once again, all black. 495 to 2200 RPM, going from just about dead silent, uh, able to crank out uh, 77 CFM of air. Nicely designed, rather slim design, so it's not going to block too many components. Um, once again, big draw being the vapor chamber that is direct contact to the CPU. You then have the makings of a really nice uh, cooler sitting on top of it with four 7mm heat sinks, as well as a contact block, good aluminum thin array. Really nice looking piece from Sapphire. Definitely different, definitely groundbreaking.